Na początku chciałbym zapytać o podsumowanie tej debaty. Pojawiło się kilka wątków, kwestia partycypacji społecznej, uchodźców, czy pytania o konflikty ewentualne pomiędzy miastami. Czy coś Pana zaskoczyło z tego, czy coś... Chciałem zapytać o Pana główny e, przesłanie, to znaczy o e, parlament e, burmistrzów. E, no wie, wiemy, że burmistrzowie są wybierani, żeby załatwiać te sprawy lokalne. Zresztą Pan o tym mówił, że oni są ekspertami od tego, ponieważ nie, nie, po, nie traktują tego ideologicznie. Ale dlaczego w takim razie uważa Pan, że oni mogliby także e, dobrze rozwiązywać sprawy globalne? Mayors do act pragmatically to solve local problems and that's why you are right. They are important that way. But today, local problems and global problems are the same problems. The refugee problem is a global problem, but it's also a problem for cities because most of the refugees end up in cities. Terrorism is a global problem, but terrorists don't attack farms. They attack cities, they attack train stations. So that, again, is a global problem. The problem of warming, it's not a problem of Warsaw warming, it's not a problem of Katowice warming, it's a problem of global warming. So cities produce greenhouse gases, but the problem is global and they have to deal with it on a global level. In fact, my basic argument is that cities are important, not just because they are close to the people and local and people trust them, but because they are better at understanding global problems than nation states. We take the example of climate change. Where for 20 years now, the COP process, the Conference of the Parties, the UN process that will end up in Paris in December, it's called COP21. For 20 years, 187 nations have met and not solved the climate mm -hmm. problem. Cities are already working together in the C40 climate cities, in the ICLE, Environmental Issues Organization, to try to contribute solutions to this problem. So when I argue for a global parliament of mayors, it's not to take mayors away from the local problems to the global problems, but it's because the local problems and the global problems are the same thing. Finally, uh, a long time ago, the founder of the European community said, states, nation states are too big for participation mm -hmm. and they are too small for global power. Cities are small enough for participation and trust and democracy, but when they work together 
if they can form a global parliament of mayors, they can also be big enough as a global parliament to deal with the global problems that they need to deal with. And finally, I said cities are not just a subsidiary, a level of government. They are not sub-national units. Cities are the oldest human institutions. Cities are where we are born and get educated and grow up and where we work and we play and we pray, where we get old and we die. They are our essential communities. And therefore, they are very different than every other level of government because they represent the fundamental human community where we solve problems and where democracy works. And if we can get cities to cooperate with one another globally, as they solve their local problems, they will solve global problems. And as they address global problems, they will be responding to local problems. So the cities are the future, and it's time that cities are represented politically with sufficient autonomy and jurisdiction and authority to meet one another so that they can begin to solve the global problems that states are not solving. Mm -hmm. Wprawdzie mówił Pan, że nie, nie odpowiada na wszystkie pytania, bardziej stara się je stawiać, ale chciałem zapytać, czy wyobraża sobie Pan i ilu ewentualnie polskich burmistrzów w takim parlamencie? Well, it's a very good question, because with nations, you have 190, 200 nations, and they can fit in a room. 200 prime ministers can fit in a room. There are 6,000 big cities and 60,000 major cities and 600,000 cities. There's no stadium that can take 600,000 mayors. So obviously there has to be some representation. My proposal is that we have a parliament of mayors with 300 seats, 100 seats for cities from 50,000 to 500,000 people. Many Polish cities would be for that. 100 representatives for cities of 500,000 to 5 million and 100 seats for cities from 5 million to 30 million, mega cities, big cities, New York, Bangkok, Mexico City, and so on. In that realm, that would mean that many Polish cities, certainly Gdańsk and Warsaw and Warsaw and Katowice and Poznan and others would certainly have a place. They might have representatives who do it, but I would certainly imagine that three or four or five Polish cities in a parliament of three or four hundred mayors would participate. They might change from year, maybe one year Gdańsk, mm -hmm. one year Poznan, and then the Polish mayors can meet with one another and make sure that whoever was at the parliament could represent them. But it's important that it's not just Poland and Europe and North America but that it's Africa. We have Cape Town and Johannesburg working with us. We have Dakar working with us. We have Seoul, Korea. We have Hiroshima. We have Sejou in China. Uh, it's important that cities from the north and the south, from the developed world and the developing world all participate, and we need to ensure that. But to come full circle, Poland is a country of cities. It has many great cities, old cities, not so big, but important culturally, important economically, and certainly they will be well represented. Thank you very much. Thank you.